Today I went camping at the base of a mountain in a beautiful lush area. I got to experience some nice tea by the fire, enjoy a nice fire out under the stars. It was a pretty cold trip, but one that I'd definitely do again. Now, like any trip, it started with packing the car, getting ready to go. And here I am, I'm in the car with all my belongings, about to take off. Well, not really take off, but drive off to the campsite. Drove through some country to get to the destination of where I needed to go. It was quite a peaceful drive. Drive was about an hour and a half long, so not too much of a drive. And soon arrived at this beautiful place called The Gorge, which I have to say, my favourite campsite, personal favourite for me. Hidden away in the bush, under a mountain, love this place. So, had to try get a good site, and get a good site we did. Here's our site here, nice little area tucked away in the bush. Beautiful little spot, nice and shady. But it would get a bit cold later, but fire easily solves that. It's down by the creek, so there were a few mosquitoes. But uh, not too much as we were still leaving the winter times, so they weren't that much of an issue. Went for a little bit of a walk around the place, checking out the awesome scenery, beautiful nature of this spot. This is my third time camping in this spot now. I did go camping back here in like 2019, but I uh, came back for another trip this year, of course, 2022. It's a good trip, good trip. This is uh, the site here where I spent my 2019 trip. But uh, unfortunately, the floods, they took it out, unfortunately. So I uh, can't go there. It's a little bit unsafe. Went for a walk down by the creek and uh, just had a little look around at the place. It was looking pretty good, which is what I like to see when I'm camping. No rubbish, none of that. Just a beautiful little spot full of nature. Of course, it's what you love to see. Went for a little bit of walk around the old site I spent my last trip here at. The water was a little bit gross for some reason, I'm not too sure what all that was, so I just kind of left it alone. Had my camping stick with me, and for anyone wondering, the camping stick is like this, just, just a stick I take with me on each trip. It's like the face of the channel, I guess you could call it. And it's just a nice little fun thing I found on my second trip that I like to keep with me, and remember all of my different trips through. As you can see here, I'm kind of just whacking it in the water getting the essence of the camp and place into it. Nice little flow of creek here. It's nice to just sit here, just sat here, relax for a little bit, listening to the water, the birds chirping in the trees, all that good stuff. It's just fun to listen to. time-lapse footage you just saw there was me climbing a mountain. Uh, there's this really big mountain and it had a very narrow path of people you can see who've gone up here before and I decided to climb it which took me about half an hour of uh, nearly falling to my death but eventually I made it to the top and as I looked down at the steep climb I'd just done I took a beautiful look at the view that I just conquered or I guess you could say conquered the mountain. I'd made it to the top, and the view definitely proved worth it. It was absolutely stunning. And then, of course, you've got to make your way back down. You go up something, you've got to go down something. Well, not until you've gone a little bit higher, of course. Having have reached the furthest I dared to go, I started my descent back down the mountain. 
so that I could start getting ready for some dinner. After dinner was started, some nice canned potatoes, camping potatoes as I call them, and steak, I decided to descend up a very rocky climb here, which was arguably a little bit of a dumb decision, but I did that and then head back to camp, and I did a bit of recording for my short film here, as you can see, I then sat by the fire admiring it, with a nice tea, just having a very peaceful, relaxing moment. You just gotta do that sometimes, and you're out camping. So why worry about anything else when you can just sit by, relax, and enjoy the beauty of the fire. After sitting by the fire, having a nice tea by the fire, I decided to go check out the uh, creek and just sit down there for a bit and relax a little. Enjoy nature. Arriving back at camp, nightfall soon fell upon me, and I got to enjoy a lovely dinner before bed of camping potatoes and steak. Now, you may think canned potatoes is yes, a bit gross, but these are nice little small potatoes and they're absolutely delicious. So of course, get them, cook them, steak, sit by the fire, enjoy a nice meal, lovely camping dinner, that's what you want to do. You can see I've got some nice slow-mo footage of the fire here. It's nice, relaxing, and then I went to bed. Next day arrived, it was a bit of a wet day, woke up very early, very cold. Uh, it was dark when I originally woke up, so I just kind of lay in bed for a bit before deciding to dare hop out and face the coldness of the day. Decided to uh, go check out the creek, and uh, my feet were very numb from the cold, so that wasn't very pleasant, I must say. But, um, definitely worth it. Always worth it. So, uh, after giving up of trying to get down without sliding to my death, I decided to go for a little bit of a run to the potty. And I uh, went to the top of their camp area where there's some cabins that you can also camp in here. So, um, it's pretty cool. And uh, I was in the bathroom, there was this little sign here. Uh -huh. no jokes on them. Uh, I don't need to pee. And to be honest, I don't need to do the number two either. I just wanted to film that sign, and that's the whole reason I came here. I then decided to leave the stall after waiting for someone else to leave, because uh, walking out with a massive iPad probably looks a little bit suspicious, as this is back when I reported, reported, recorded with an iPad. I then uh, poked this rock here, and I just started thinking, hmm, I need a souvenir of this place. So I went over to this little rock pile at the edge of the site, and uh, I snagged a rock. I like to take little souvenirs of each trip. And uh, this is my souvenir for this one. This little rock. Nice little mossy rock. But unfortunately, the trip was now over. And it was time to pack up. But like usual, my beautiful partner has drawn up some lovely drawings of the highlights of this trip. So, without further ado, let's get into the highlights. Now, of course, what stuck out for me most was climbing that mountain. The view from the top was just so worth the climb, and it was absolutely stunning. And my second highlight was having a nice tea by the fire. It's always nice to just sit and relax by the fire. Well, I must say, this was a really good trip. And if you guys did enjoy the trip, there's a button just down there. You can stick around for more. And if you don't want to, maybe just pop in every now and then, see what I've been doing. All appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one.
There we go.